All right, what is up, people? We are here. Woo! Howdy. Yes, we are Woo. here from various locations. Yes. Yeah. Ended up being the most important one. <laughs> Eric lives in like West Virginia or something. I'm in Maine. Same place. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> so how? So, all right. So you with the dark force? How far is the drive? Did you drive? Or did you fly? Um, I took a well. I live on an island, so I took a boat and then a bus for four hours and then hour and a half flight and forty five minutes. Hold on, hold on. You took a boat? Yeah, I live on an no. island, an hour and a half from the coast. Fucking Maine. <laughs> Maine. <laughs> exactly. All right. Cool. We're gonna be there. Hopefully, you're uh, you're there next year. Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be there. Yeah, we'll definitely be there too. Yeah, me too. Sweet, you better be. Nine hour drive for you. Yeah, yeah, nine if you don't stop or eat or pee. <laughs> or <do Yeah>. it. <laughs> it's more like hey, everyone. Time, you know, there was a couple of gas stops and whatever. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my God, when we went out of Dark Wars, I couldn't, first of all, we forgot our passports. I don't know if you heard that story. No. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but they, they let go, right? Oh, my God, we got to the border, and I went to hand my our passports to the, the border guard, and they were just my old expired ones from a long time ago. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is this about? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly yeah. So it, was, it was a whole fucking thing. Yeah. But anyways, we made it, thank God. I just have to make sure that I pack valid passports this time. That's a good yes. idea. Yes. Right? I don't, yeah, have, I don't have to pack one of those. Don't get in twice without passports. Yeah. Kyler, I'm glad I made your week by setting us up, brother. Yay. Woo. Someone's happy to see us anyway. Yeah, until right. I open my fat fucking mouth. I just it. <laughs> <sighs> stop yawning, you cocksucker. You act like you work all day or something. <laughs> Definitely didn't. <laughs> all right. Well, we were just talking about travel, so... Uh, Mad Maps, you know, tell us about your, you know, journey down to Florida. It was, it was a journey. It was. Yeah. yeah. yeah so uh, when I went to Toronto, I got dropped. I'm always a fucking delight at airport security. Sorry. I'm always a delight at airport security. I'm trying to keep my mouth under control because my mom might be coming to watch this. <laughs> Hi, mom. I know. I don't know if she's in here or not, but uh, she gets upset when I swear too much. She says it makes me sound like not a very nice lady. Mm -hmm. So you mean, do you mean take her mind off your swearing? Right. So anyways, I went to the Toronto airport and airport security always hates me. And especially this time because I had like literal fucking barbed wire and other horrible things in my suitcase. Um, the man, they made me do security three times at the Toronto airport. They kept oh, yes. kicking me back out to the beginning, throwing my suitcase through. The guy was rifling through my suitcase. The security guy cut his hand open on the barbed wire. That was in my <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, metal shiny things. Yep. And I was like, this is your fault. Don't rifle through my shit. Like, have you not looked at it? What is wrong with you? Don't rough handle that stuff. It's dangerous. So anyways, at the end of it, to pass security in Toronto, they ended up giving me a set of wire cutters and making me cut a bunch of shit off my outfits to pass, to even get through the airport. So they just had like a dish of metal things that I had cut off of my outfits and they just like threw it in the garbage right in front of me. And I was like, hey... <laughs> Wow. So, yeah. So by the time I got to Florida and he picked me up, I was much less decorated than when I left my house because they threw half of my outfit in the garbage at the airport. So whatever. Anyway, made it did, to Florida. Did, did, did they there. confiscate your adult baby bibs and your. Right. No, those stayed just... here. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pack those. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you get, so you get some of the wildest shit you have to sew. I'll never, I'll never it's understand true. it. It's Speaking true. of sewing. So yeah. you want to talk? You want to go ahead and talk about what you made for me? I did. So this is an upcoming video. Uh, will be an upcoming video on my YouTube channel at some point. If someone ever sends me the picture I was promised of him with said base strap. Oh, I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't send me the picture, like I, I actually have like a backup plan. I took a picture. I don't know if you know this. I took a picture of you while I was there that we can just use. We can just use it. It's right here. <laughs> that is fucking spitting it. Is that a dick hanging below the base right there? Hold on. <laughs> is that a hold on? Is that a little dick? No, I think that's just. A is that just like the pants? It looks like a penis. <laughs> so there, if, you, if you don't send me the picture, it's fine. Like we got it covered. <laughs> I'll I'll send you the picture. I got to take one first. 
Excellent. Yeah, no, that thing was a pain in my ass. That base strap. Oh my god. So. But it's wonderful. Well, it mm. seems like it should be simple, and it it was not. It was. It was. That was your first. You know, you've never done a project like that before, so. Uh, well, yeah, no, most the thing is, so most of the things that people ask me to sew are things I've never made before. Like, hey, can you make me an adult baby bib? I've never made that before. I don't know what I'm doing, yeah. but I have a like, oh, there's Tyler. Hi. What's up? Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Did you, shower, did you shower in your sweat and then hop on? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I had plenty of time to Hellscape draw. you guys live in? <laughs> he was he had to go to New Orleans today, so yeah, I had to go to New Orleans and the whole interstate was shut down on the way back. So oh, yeah. shit. back roads for me. Well Missy, you remember how it was when we went fucking everybody at a dead stop on the way there. So Yep. I was told it was a three hour drive and it turned out to be like four and a half. Yeah. That's right. We were stuck. Right. Yeah, I know it was terrible. Yeah, it's three hours for me and I'm an hour closer. So Oh my god. No, it was terrible. It, it literally is it takes me three hours to get there whenever I drive it, but I'm not stuck in traffic normally either. So well, I mean the way back certainly was a lot faster. Yeah. There was no traffic. It was no also traffic. whatever ungodly hour of the morning. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Who do you have to thank for that one? Yeah, we made I have a lot of in particular time I want to thank for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a whole bunch of shit in the comments here we can respond to. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. Um, Bring them here. Um, Missy, your mom said yes, she is listening. Excellent. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Please ignore the uh, profanity. just want to say we're sorry right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone's asking if that's your patch-covered overalls that you made. Uh, it's Yeah, it's not overalls. It's a, it's a jumpsuit. But, yes, I actually made this for my trip to Florida because I thought, what a perfect travel outfit. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know, one zipper and I'm in it. It's got pockets here. It's got pockets here. It's got pockets in the back. It's so great. I can keep my passport in it, whatever. Uh, the Pensacola airport did not feel the same about this, about this outfit. I actually made it through security immediately, like one pass. And I was thinking, well, that was suspicious because in Toronto, it took me three times to get through security. And I thought, well, don't uh, don't question these things. Just keep going. So I started to walk away from security, and along comes an airport cop. Oh, and he's no. like, he's like, you come here. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I had to go over and I said, can I ask what the problem is? And he's like, yeah, you're being detained. And I was like, can I ask why? And he was like, because the head of security needs to talk to you. And I'm like, okay. So we yeah. went over and we waited, and then along and then they comes they put you through the metal detector. Yeah, oh, all the extra security, absolutely. So this very official looking woman comes over to me and she's like, I'm the head of security. And I said, I'm pleased to meet you. Can I ask why I'm being held here? And she was like, we had reports from downstairs. I don't know what that means. But she's like, we had reports from downstairs that you're wearing something extremely inappropriate. And I said, what do you mean extremely inappropriate? I said, I think this is quite modest. Like it's long pants. It's not like open in the chest. Right. And she was like, no, not, not like that you're being detained for profanity and i was like what you like, hear that mom profanity <laughs> profanity she was like yeah someone told me that you had the f-u-c-k word in big letters on your jumpsuit which i don't which i don't so i'm not kidding you they made me stand for 15 minutes like this with my arms out while this woman walked all around my jumpsuit and read every patch that's on here to make sure that I was like not being profane and that I could proceed to my flight. Oh my God. Yeah. And meanwhile, there's girls walking by in short shorts with their butt cheeks showing like, mm -hmm. and guys with like funny rude saying t-shirts. Nobody cares about that. No. Right. No, no. Just the girl in like the patch jumpsuit could be a problem. And this thing is such like, it's a lot to look at visually. So I, you know, if there was something on here, I don't even know that you could see it, but yep, 15 minutes hold up while they decided whether or not I was allowed to get on my plane with this extremely inappropriate garment. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that bit me in the ass, but anyway. Uh, the wonderful Miss Stephanie says that your oh your mohawk is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it's now known as the Ohawk. Thanks, Eric. Oh, 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 yep. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, I was gonna say, unfortunately, I have extremely curly hair. It's not unfortunate, it just is what it is. I have extremely curly hair, so I don't have the option to get a lot of different, like these fun, cute little spiky haircuts. They don't work, I just get an afro, that's it, right? So I'm like, hey, well, it's either bald, it's a mohawk, or I take like Robert Smith hair, that's all I got. So 
<laughs> if I ever get sick of this, I'm just going to go razor bald and then eventually grow in my like weird Robert Smith, like Tim Burton hair. Totally yes. <laughs> totally All right. Good. So how long did you guys have to film that video? One well, day. I, yeah, we filmed it one, one day. fucking day. Yeah, yep. I was only there for the weekend. So I went down Friday and then I came home Monday. But yeah, the video was only Saturday. Oh, yep. my God. Yeah, it was hot as balls. We were sweating like crazy. I think it was over the course of six hours. We were there from like 10 to 4. Wow. It was home time. That's crazy. Just dying. And like because I'd come Friday and then the video shoot was Saturday morning, I didn't even have time to like acclimatize to the insane heat. It was just like put on like a lot of leather and go stand in like an iron forge. And I was like, just like my face was just melting off. Yeah. I felt so bad for you because we were all dying and we're used to it. So I was just like, that's gotta be the worst. Well, yeah. whatever. The girls were half naked. We were worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was not I, like leather is very hot. And despite the fact that my, my middle was bare, it was still like long sleeves, long pants, high boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. And I would also argue that it's very different being sweaty with naked boy face than being sweaty wearing like this much makeup and large false eyelashes. Like I literally <laughs> felt like my entire face was just sliding off into shit. <laughs> Your beard's pretty yeah. hot. That I believe that actually. I, I can't grow my own. I've tried. But like <laughs> it doesn't grow in very nice. Just keep working at it. I'm gonna Tyler, try. <laughs> Tyler, you gotta get off lumberjack mode. We need to like even you up to where you're more like Leonidas. Honestly, we <laughs> I want to see Tyler with a pencil mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Go to waters. Yeah. yeah surprise pencil mustache. Or you could grow it really long and make it like a static X beard and put all the little elastics in it. There we go. Yeah, I would. And that's one more thing somebody's going to give us crap for. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met, I met Wayne static once. So I'll be really? automatically a poser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. I haven't actually heard anyone reference Static X in a long time. Me neither. Yeah, but that was, that was a thing. Like, you remember when people did that? People had the Static X beards for a while, mm. and then everyone cut them off for obvious reasons. Well, now it's all Viking stuff, so everybody has to look like a Viking and watch the TV show. Yes. Yep. All right, we have someone asking, uh, how did Miss C get involved in band promotion and stuff with October Noir? Yeah, so basically, <laughs> she was a fan of the band and reached out, and uh, that hey, it's kind of the rest of history. Me, sir. I believe you messaged uh, me first. Probably, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I remember approaching you about the uh, doing a custom bass strap. Yes, and then it took way longer than it should have because I got kicked out of multiple sewing studios, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it because so, of your outfit? Yeah, it just kept getting, <laughs> yep. So anyway, and then he was like, forget it. Just just bring it down when you come down for the video. And I was like, I love that. And then they rifled through my suitcase so many times at the airport. When I got there, my suitcase just looked like dirty laundry. So I was digging through being like, oh, my God, if they lost this base strap, I'm going to, like, lose my mind. Like, if it's not here, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, which uh, it's here. So we, we have it. And then, uh, yeah, so I remember talking to her about doing the music video. Because I think yeah. you showed me that you were in one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I said, hey, you should come do ours. I, you know, we'll get your flight and get you here and we'll do our thing. And then we just kind of uh, took off. I wanted her to be like the boss bitch because look at her. She's the boss. Absolutely. So I figured she worked very well for this, this sort of video. True story. <laughs> so we flew her in. She came and <laughs> melted. Yes. <laughs> Lord was like, welcome to the devil's armpit, you holzer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well it was like so i got off the plane in the airport went and picked up my baggage he wasn't there he wasn't there sorry this is backwards so i'm pointing the wrong way yeah he wasn't there to pick me up yet and he was just like oh stand outside like on the sidewalk i'll come find you and i i walked out and it was just, it was like being punched in the face with water and heat and i was like <gasps> <laughs> water like didn't expect the first thing when you sat down in Florida to be an OSHA violation, huh? <laughs> it was brutal. Oh my god, I can't. Like, I don't. I honestly don't know. Like, it honestly felt like the entire time I was there, I didn't take one proper full breath of air because it's just so much humidity. It's insane. Yeah. So, and then when I go um, back to Canada, I was just sending them weather reports. I'm like, it is 22 degrees Celsius and lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nice so what was each of your favorite moments on set 
when it was over. Yeah, my favorite was when we left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being over was good um being able to go into like the little air conditioned side room was also good yeah the little bar, uh, yeah, yeah, bar. The, bar the pirate bar yeah, yeah we, bar. Actually, we did our uh our promo band picks in there so that's actually that's in the new album no that's the uh one for the reveal for dark force fest yeah yes. yeah yeah i put that in my behind the scenes video too i put like oh getting a new picture taken or something and then i put oh, they're playing a dark force and put up the picture and by yeah. i jessica i didn't i didn't do that or had nothing to do with editing that yeah, maybe we should get Jessica to edit some of our stuff. She does yeah. a really good job, and yeah, we, we kind of just we should because I'm tired of doing it. Yeah, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, no, for no. it or make me do it, I don't care. Yeah, no, my stuff. Yeah, either was either way, somebody take it off my hands. Actually, yeah. I don't know if I could because I'd be like, I don't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're control freaks. <laughs> Yeah, me too. But like Jessica gets it. So it's it's fine. I'm just like, I just make crazy shit and like say crazy shit. And then I just hand her all the footage and say, make this look like I'm not insane. Just make it look like I'm a decent human that knows what she's doing. And we'll put it on the internet. Go. <laughs> Jessica's the real hero. It's possible. It's lies. Where's, where's she? Uh, bring, her in the, bring her in the camera. Where's she at? Come join no, the conversation. Yeah, she's coming in to poke her face in. Hang on. Pop, 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 poker face, pop, pop, poker face. Whatever you say. So, yeah, she brought over her laptop and set this up for me because otherwise I would have no idea how to even be in this interview. So. <laughs> I don't actually know. So, no, I am an, I'm an old fashioned, like, weird stuff. Yeah. And no, you got, you got the coolest stuff in the world, though. But, yeah, but not technology. If it's technological, not my problem. <laughs> you got Bluetooth on your sewing machine? <laughs> no, can you have? Oh my god, I would throw it right in the parking lot. <laughs> you know, my sewing machine is from the nineteen six, the early nineteen sixties, and it has literally two buttons, and it will sew through your friggin' fingers if you let it. Like Ooh. it has all of the power and none of the technology. It's great. I have Bluetooth on my record player, and I don't oh, know how. Why? <laughs> no. What? Yeah. <laughs> No record player anymore. I got Bluetooth on my new keyboard. I have a gramophone. That's kind of a record player. Well, well people awesome. people that buy vinyl, I mean, they won't ever buy ours, but yeah, because we won't ever have any. It's too yeah. fucking expensive. <laughs> I've got so much. I got, vinyl, I got some right there. I got a couple of vinyls. I don't think yeah. I can show that one. This is my travel yeah. keyboard. Uh, it folds in half. Oh wow. Whoa. You know what else falls in half? <laughs> no, don't say it. Don't say it. Very warming here. Think of Missy's mom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Missy's mom is here. That's right. No, I'll hold back. All right. So we mentioned Dark Force. So uh, each of you, if you've been paying attention to who's being announced, uh, which band are you most excited to see, uh, be? You know, to see there. Not October Noir. No, I'll see them. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm scared to death. So far, you guys, I like. I don't. I don't know who they're sort of announcing them slowly. I'm sure Jessica has some inside tracks, but we're none of us are allowed to know about it yet. So, oh. yeah. yeah. So we all get to see about them when they go up. But I was really excited that you guys got in and that I get to finally <laughs> see you perform. I'll tell you what, though, does she have the information on what bands are playing what day? Because I would like to know that. I don't think. I don't think the schedule's been made yet, as far as I know. It's probably too far out. Okay. I tell you who I'm excited to see from, from doing the radio stuff on the Noir Hour. I'm excited to see Augur. I love that band. Mm. It's like uh, Augur and Alice. I'm really excited to see them. Oh, definitely. I got nothing. Got nothing. Either. I'm excited to see Alice. Yeah, we love Alice. Luke, what the fuck are you smoking? A tea kettle with Bluetooth? <laughs> what? I that love tea, so I'm, I'm in. Well, I know what Doug's going on Amazon for later. Bluetooth <laughs> tea kettle? Nah. Like, I, mean, I did get a sous vide with Bluetooth. And they have like a washing machine Why? and like ovens that have Bluetooth. Not everything needs Bluetooth. It doesn't. Does not they make toasters with Bluetooth no. and it also has like buttons on it no. to like control the volume of the toast and shit? No. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Toast volume? Yeah. <laughs> the volume of the toast. They yeah. use it to control the color of the LEDs. <laughs> nope. I don't know. The more man. buttons something has, the easier it breaks. So no thank you. 
I don't know. Come on, man. You don't want to. You don't want an air fryer with Bluetooth, so you can. No. So you can jam some music as you uh, cook your fish no. sticks. What the no. fuck? No. Come on, man. Everything in my house, if it's newer than the 1980s, it's probably not even in this house. Like my stove. Oh, is that is true. Yeah. Like, no. Is that a gurney behind you or? Yes. Oh, I'm okay. gonna lay on there. That looks comfy. Don't ask questions. Yeah, so this I is the, will. the gurney and the the computer that we're filming this on is actually sitting on my embalming table. So I'm just sitting nice. at the embalming talking to you. So I'm talking about. Where's your lobotomy <laughs> table? Going to be no, piercing the Bluetooth so you can answer your phone. What the hell? Phoenix, Phoenix you're probably fucking right. You might be onto <laughs> something. You might want to patent it. Delete <laughs> your comment and patent it. Yep. I could just get it embedded right in my face if I wanted to, probably. Kyler <laughs> doesn't want fancy toast. <laughs> I recognize all these names. These are people that watch my YouTube videos, you guys. <laughs> well, that's all. This is exciting. I'm this glad to see you. Say I'm glad to see for you. It should be. Yes, absolutely. Hit the thumbs up button, like this shit, share it out, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm, do, 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 do. All right. Uh, so let's talk about the location where you filmed. Like, what is that building? That pirate bar or whatever like what is that yes yeah, the pirate forge so we have a good friend wayne melligan he was on history channels forge and fire and he actually won his season or whatever that he was on so uh that's see that's what he does for a living he makes like massively expensive swords and stuff for people like fifty thousand dollars swords shit that's like that beautiful Damn. and uh yeah so he found out about a band that was a huge fan of it and was like I, I want those guys over here right now so we went and met with them and then just kind of been, we've been friends ever since so uh, we actually filmed the Wicked Game video at, in the backside of his house. So the Spellbound had a s segment of that video at the side of his house. Mm. And then we, we asked him if we could do something inside the forge this time. And that's how we got reverence. That's cool. When I showed up there, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know him at all. They were just like, hey, we're going to the Pirate Forge. We're doing a thing. And I was like, great. So we went and this mm. short little gentleman in a black trucker cap comes up to me and is like, I'm going to do a bad accent. Everyone's going to hate this. But he's like, I'm Wayne. I'm a redneck goth. And I'm like, you're a what, what? <laughs> and then the more I got to know him, I'm like, yeah, that, that is exactly what you are. You are a redneck goth. And he is lovely. We got along. Yep. It was awesome. He showed me all of his, well, not all of them, but he showed me a lot of his oddities. And we talked about that. And then he was showing us like, swords that he's made really expensive ones mm -hmm. with jewels and stuff and he showed was showing us these really cool jewels and he put this jewel in my hand and was like oh yeah that one's worth like five thousand dollars and i was like oh, put it down yeah it, was, <laughs> yeah it was like some lab made garnet for like yeah. mri machines and it, it like glows in the it glows in the light it was like, almost the color of our little word bubbles there like it was like a green wow. yellow color. Yeah, it's like extremely high content uranium glass, but it was like a mm -hmm. lab made garden. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so really, really my hand, like it was nothing. And then I was like, oh my God, this is so scary because this is really expensive. I'm just going to nicely set it down. Yeah. And like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you damn Western goth. We roll deep in the woods. All right, look. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> we call Tyler the gothic cowboy, so he might yeah. fit in with that one. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wayne's awesome. We uh we just listened to him mostly the whole time in there. It was nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can talk and he's so interesting. It was it was awesome. Yeah. And nice. the animals. I'm not mad that there was like dogs and chickens and ducks and all sorts of really cool That's animals. Right. There, yeah, he yeah, yeah. He's, dog. He's I know what kind of dog it is. Yeah. It's huge though, really huge. And the dog kept coming up to me and making like little. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you uh, got yeah, one. <laughs> All right, buddy. Wow. Yeah. You're, wel you're welcome. Hey, I'm glad you were there, Lucas. Thanks for coming in on that. Yeah. I do love the boots. Now, obviously, you've been in what, three music videos now, right, Missy? Me? Yes, three yeah. so far. So far. I Got any more in the works that you can talk about or no? Not yet. Hopefully, okay. hopefully, but not yet. I got other cool stuff coming up though. So, but it's all secret right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Let's switch gears a little bit. Start talking about your new album, right, guys? I don't want to talk about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I think disappointment. You're one, no, I think ahead. you're one of the only people that have heard it. Yeah, you're one of very few. So the big PR campaign that's happening, you know, that's that's all those that yeah. had to had to hear it so they could do their write ups and stuff too. But yeah, I think you were one of the first. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Kyla took screenshots. So you could look at your boots when he wants to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm lightly biased, but I think my boots were better. <laughs> yeah, you're like Certainly, seven yeah. feet friggin' tall when you're in those things, man. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I go out, I got to be the tallest girl going because yeah. what else? Like, what are you even doing if you're not the Which, tallest girl at the bar? Yeah, it's really funny though because like you and I are the same height without shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She is. She is what, a what tall. Was it? I think it was during your uh, your recap video, Missy, and then there's like that shot of just you and Tom, and I thought you were like a. I, thought, I was like, is Tom short? <laughs> yeah. 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 Those boots went on and it was over. <laughs> Dude, the greatest part was when she with Doug. Doug was here. Or, yeah, we were already here, and Doug Doug came in and he was on his keyboard, and I was like, go go say hello to him. So she like creeps up behind him. And you just see Doug like turn slowly, and he's looking up like this. <laughs> it, yeah, it was oh, great. Oh my god, that's great. great. Yeah, yeah. I you like can hear my pants head getting head. out of here. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> 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 yeah, when I when I first got there, when I first got to Tom's, and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, you know, I could hear her, you know, getting ready, mm -hmm. and she walked out, and I'm like, whoa. And then, and then she put her, and then she put the boots on. I'm like, holy! She was ducking. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she had to the mohawk too and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I cut my hair. So the rule is, if I can't clear door frames anymore, I cut my hair. That's when I know it's time. <laughs> Completely seriously, that's how I know it's time to cut my hair. Yeah. So I cut my hair just before I went to Florida because I was like, I I couldn't get through the door, and then I was like, when I add those big heels, like there's there's no way it's just gonna be a menace. So. I cut it like it's about as long as it is now when I went to Florida, just because it was, I was like, it's not, it's not reasonable. Also in the airplane, they put me in the window seat where it's curved. So I just sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then there was oh, like no. a, a really, uh, the plane seats are small and there was a larger gentleman sat beside me. And because I was like doing this, I was basically just like cuddling this guy, the entire plane ride. And he was a very traditional East Indian gentleman, and I don't think he appreciated being cuddled by like a very long, tall weirdo the entire flight. But <laughs> he had to deal. Uh, Tangerine says, I'm imagining that scene like Jurassic Park, boots are on, then the glasses start shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very fair. All right. Okie dokie. So, um, oh. I'm having oh, a brain fart. Wine is appearing in my screen. How lovely. Man, I need one of those. What was that thing? Well, I need one of those. This thing, just a hand. Well, here's a good question. It's about um, a dart. Not judging if you did, but did you use any safety tomfoolery on that barbed wire? I was the tomfoolery for the barbed wire. Uh, yeah, he, is, he is the constant tomfoolery. <laughs> of life <laughs> so on the the barbed wire that was on that halo absolutely not it uh it yeah, was the barbed wire and like i said the security gentleman in the airport definitely cut his hand open reaching into my suitcase so that is completely legit barbed wire uh and no my art is dangerous so <laughs> it's amazing yeah, the, the, barbed wire. Yeah. Uh, the barbed wire we used was rubber it was it was fake it was proper i wasn't gonna say that you just you just ruined the movie magic yeah i wasn't gonna sorry say that. <laughs> Right? Okay. It was real. We're masks. Exactly. People need to really believe that we tortured yeah. you like that. Although I did shove that fork into your neck, so like you got a little bit. Of oh it. fuck! That was yeah. That was real. Hey, ah. listen. You said, "Don't be nice." That's you right. look like you're actually strangling Doug with that bubble uh, plastic wrap. It, 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 she, <laughs> was. she was. She was. She loved it. Yeah. After, I, after that shot, I I actually fell over. I'll, I'll, go grab, I'll go grab some props. Yeah, I, I, I nearly passed out. This is very funny, actually. So when we were when we were filming that, and I and I was I was pulling you back, I could hear you making these weird little gurgly noises, and I was thinking, who is he making these noises for? The camera can't hear you, man. They're putting me. <laughs> like, why are you even acting like that? And then I was like, oh my god, no, it's that I'm just like legit choking him out. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. Yep. He yeah, loved it. Me and me and Doug took a ride. Me and Doug rode back on the way, and he was uh, he was beside himself a bit. That's that's the barbed wire there. So I don't know what you guys can see. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's going on. It's like Jesus, I think I'm going to need some aftercare after yeah. this. And then there's my actual hair. Yep. Yeah, that brings us to our next comment here. I seriously thought she cut his hair off. Uh, she did. That, that, well, yeah, that's my real hair. It was in a ponytail. I kept it. I kept it after uh, I'd actually cut it for real, and then we used it. Yeah, it made sense to put it in. It was symbolic, and then it's going to go on eBay, and the bid starts at twenty bucks. A mere twenty bucks. <laughs> but uh, Wayne actually made the the heretics fort, so it's a pirate. Mm -hmm. He's got his emblem on here. Yeah, it's the pirate forge. Nice. So but this this was very real, very fucking real, and it's yeah, very, very sharp. And yeah, Tom was like scared for his life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you see that part in the scene in the video where I'm gritting my teeth trying to fucking sing through the words or whatever, that's because this thing was jammed in my fucking neck. Yep. It was the last <laughs> bridge. Courtesy of yours truly. Yeah. So right. um, mm -hmm. was I just gonna say funny story about what were you just talking about? Oh, the hair. Yeah. So yeah. the original plan, I believe, was that I was supposed to be cutting his hair with with scissors. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, the scissors just got lost. Yeah, and I don't know where they went. Yeah, they couldn't find them fast enough. So Wayne was just like, why don't you just use this gigantic knife? <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, okay, let's do that. So then that's how that ended up in the video. And also, apparently, it wasn't even finished because Wayne sent me a picture afterward and was like, hey, here's oh, that knife you were using, but it's done now. Trey, get your <laughs> pussy off the screen. <laughs> 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 kitty, kitty cat is yours all right we have two different kinds of people in this chat we have Kyler who wants the barbed wire okay kitty cat who wants the hair <laughs> kitty cat can have the hair she can have the hair uh the barbed wire uh, i'll take a hand job for it <laughs> god <laughs> Uh, well, my hope is that one day, if we ever become anything besides uh, what we are, that maybe some of this shit will be worth something. Maybe it'll be worth something. Wait, we can start our own eBay store. It'll actually be uh, less of value when they find out it's attached to us. <laughs> I have some uh, authentic October Noir merch in my house. You do? Maybe I ain't gotten on yet. Yeah, Jessica's run away, but when she comes back, I'll get her to bring it over. But uh, I actually got. <laughs> Um, a set of drumsticks and a guitar strap, which are now part of my living room decor. So they live in that, this. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, one other thing. You ended up leaving it. Uh, that bass strap has been with me since day one. Yeah. So Thank God. It's the only one I've ever used until now. So. Oh, Thank God. Have, it they're coming into the screen now. There it is. Here's the drumsticks. Yeah, forgot, the, uh, the, forgot the cap. I, so I didn't know. I, I left. I wasn't... Uh, I was very tired the morning that I left and I wasn't sure if I was supposed to take that or if like, I, I didn't know, I wasn't clear yeah. on if it was given to me. And then I was like, well, I don't just want to like steal someone's hat. So what I didn't see you before I left. So no, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it. Yeah, well, I'll yeah, hold on to it. Because it's a lovely hat. I really like it a lot. <laughs> so there's yeah, this the, is my honor guard cap. It's authentic. It's it's awesome. It's a really nice hat. It looked really nice on my it's head. It's Nazi. And then here's the. <laughs> Ooh, here's nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I always hated that. I always hated that base strap. So I'm glad you got it. Well, luckily he has a better one now. He does. Right. He does. Yeah, and the and the sticks. I mean, the sticks got blood on them. From they the do. I was, like, I was like, at least I'll give you a souvenir for all your troubles. Because it was I love hot, it. it was so. God, it was so damn hot. Yeah, it was. Even for even for me, because I'm used to the heat. It was just mm -hmm. it was too much. Yeah, it was it was it was a lot. So it was hot. Like by the end of the day, <laughs> my pants were literally welded into my legs. <laughs> I would have just worn the damn hat back through the airport. When I went, I wore my hair flat the day I was home. I could have just put the hat on. But well, Doug, Doug I mean, if you were, they probably would have left you alone. Maybe <laughs> who knows. Or they would have had a problem with the hat too. Who knows? Probably. Yeah, people in Florida are insane. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yes. All right. We uh, someone's asking if October Noir has custom uh, guitar picks or not. Yes, we do. Uh, I normally 
save them to thump at people's foreheads when we're doing live stuff, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah I got, they're, they're, they're glow in the dark, too, so they're kind of like made for souvenir purposes. They're glow in the dark? Yeah. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah. I collect like, guitar picks. I need one of them things. Man, I, 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 I can send you one. I can hang more stuff off my face. There's room. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right? I could like drill a hole in that and hang it off my face somewhere. That'd be fun. You just hang a bunch of them and glow in the dark at night. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I basically glow in the dark at night by myself. So like. <laughs> that is true. All right. Uh, Luke says that with that hat, they would have let you fly the plane. Oh, that would have been really <laughs> that bad. That would not have been the make or break, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could this discussion ignite inspiration to write a song titled Barbed Wire on your next album? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. Barbed Wire is never a bad topic of discussion. I think Doug's dying. He's choking um, to death. Man, I, I yeah, I don't I don't focus on writing songs like just blankly or randomly. It just <laughs> when it's time to write, then I kind of get into that mode to mm. to work with it. So yeah. So obviously, Letters to Existence is coming out next month. Have you ever started the next one after that? No, no. It's it's going to be a little while before we. I mean, we might get into maybe a couple more covers, cover songs or something. But we really want to focus on um, just the, the exposure. So we're trying to run PR. And there we go. I'm trying to help. I plug you hey. all the time. That's right. You do, and we and thank you so much. You can plug me anytime. <laughs> Keep it PG-13. That yeah, was PG-13. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, I went down the wrong hole. Oh, dear. <laughs> we'll keep it PG-13, though. That, that won't hold up in court. <laughs> <laughs> a glow-in-the-dark outfit. Oh, my God. Like, sometimes people just say stuff, and then my brain does a thing. So, yeah, now my brain just did a thing about a glow-in-the-dark outfit. Thank you. Now I have to make something weird. Birthday next year. Right? This is like the time Jessica just yelled, make a holographic parasol at me. And then I made a holographic parasol. <laughs> so, yeah. And now I just blind people. When I go out in public, it's like just disco walking all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Just going to get it. So are you doing any more music videos for this upcoming album or just the Forever Haunt, which is featured on the album and that's like it? Yeah. Yeah, no, we're we're actually gonna do three more. So we're okay. about to get, yeah, we're about to get busy. That's cool. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we're gonna do an, a video for Endless Lonely. Yeah. Um, nice. Which is a must because it's a masterpiece. And then we're kind of just waiting to see which songs after the album comes out, which songs mm -hmm. really spark off. And we're kind of thinking that a halo hung from horns because of all the fan feedback. That might be the one, mm -hmm. the, one of the ones that we do one for, and the rest, the the next one is to be determined. So. Oh, I'll keep my fingers crossed. My favorite track it's probably going to be "Deja Vu." Yes. <clears throat> so, Eric, Eric, what was your favorite track? To be uh, my favorite track was uh, "Flash Paper Matches." Really, really, really. God, Fair. God damn, man, we that song came down to the wire no it did that, yeah. that, was a that is the last song that we worked on that's the last song that i drum for uh i fucking love that song well see we're kind of waiting to hear responses from people we right wanna, we want to we want to all get out and give it a little time to to fester yeah right now we've anybody that's ordered the deluxe edition which you have to get it in before september 1st we're already mailing the albums to them mm. so they get them they get them like a month early oh that's unlucky look she just <laughs> there's some salt over your shoulder holographic parasol hey there's a hey there's a gothic chick behind you doing something weird with a number <laughs> in my house unheard of <laughs> <laughs> this is lies this is fake news so, <laughs> wait did you make that umbrella yeah that's I didn't even make a fucking umbrella. How do I make anything? Fair. I just, just figured uh, it out can fair a lot. Yeah. Nothing can surprise me about your house after I saw the holy crapper. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The what? <laughs> the holy crapper. <laughs> don't, don't ask. 
Okay, I don't uh, want to. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you pictures. All I'll right. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that offline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Kyler agrees with me that that's his favorite song he heard on the album. Uh, someone says "Deja Vu" is such a sexy song; it definitely needs to have a video. All right, we're definitely not doing a video there. <laughs> yeah, I think I think "Deja Vu" Luke just says, caught... solid album. Should have pre-ordered it, but he's stupid. Stop it, Luke! No yeah. self-deprecation. Pre-orders are still open. open. There's there's, there's no excuse. Ahead. There's no excuse. Pre-orders are still open. That's the thing. There's yep. still time. Unless they're broke like me. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Gothic chick with a holographic umbrella needs to be a song title. <laughs> Under my umbrella. Umbrella. Hello. Hello. Can you imagine a goth doom cover of that song? No. I don't no. want to. <laughs> no. The amount of drag queens that I have seen perform that song. Mm-hmm. And I, I hate imagine. it every time. Like... I do love drag queens. I do not love their music. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So obviously you sat in on the live stream. Did you have any like overall impressions of the album, Missy? Or yeah, I mean it was. I was sewing. I was doing a suit mm-hmm. alteration of all things while I was listening. But uh, no, it was it was awesome. I mean. To be fair, I had heard parts of it before the live stream because, you know, I heard some of it in person while I was there. They were working on it and stuff. Um, And I was also, like, watching watching the comments and, like, talking back and forth with people. And also there was two of me. There was one on Facebook and one on YouTube. And one was the real me and one was the Jessica version of me. (laughs) (laughs) Commenting on it and and also talking back and forth like in person as we were commenting on it and also there was a a student learning to sew beside me while it was happening so there was a lot going on um yeah that's it that's interesting internet if you were following that live stream which one was the real me and which one was jessica that is that is something that's a good one yes something that you can consider but no i i loved it i thought it was great and i would like to listen to it in a less chaotic manner because when i'm you know, getting a, a a new album or something, and I want to actually sit and listen to it all. Like, put on my headphones with my portable CD player, or like, put it on the car and go for a drive. But do something where I can like listen to it in a dedicated fashion. Mm. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I definitely enjoyed it. But I'd, I'd like more listens, obviously, because there was a lot going on at the same time. No, for sure. So I've got a story. <clears throat> Ready. So right before we shot the music video, I came in or I. Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Well, somebody didn't want to hear the story, so uh, let's praise whoever that was. Thank you. <laughs> love it. Providence. <laughs> he's gone. Yep. He's, he's gone. probably still talking right now and has, yeah, no, idea. Probably has no idea. <laughs> he's probably telling the whole story. He's. I have a story, and then it just froze. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna unfreeze, and just he says, and that's the end of that story. <laughs> Tyler's pulling a Chuck Schumer. <laughs> I learned what the fuck. <laughs> Trey, get your rape whistle ready. <laughs> oh, no. Let it rip. I would also like to point uh, out. He's back. Though. He's back. Let it rip. Do it now, Trey. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, your story was great. Thanks yeah. for telling me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. My story Next was question. so bad that the, it crashed the whole fucking stream. so anyway anyway i got there i got there early because me and tom has some stuff to go over on the very last song on the album and tom brought missy in there to talk about how she felt about drum beats and she was not interested at all it's not that i wasn't interested it's just that i don't (laughs) i don't understand enough because you were like what about this okay now this yeah (laughs) And I was like, that sounds the same. I don't know what I'm listening to. <laughs> I would I would imagine that it would have been the same. No, so on the last on the last instrumental with Brian from Woodsby Prey, um, we were going back and forth on the drums, and I was steadfast that it had to be this way. And he had something totally different. Mm-hmm. And uh he um Tom asked her two cents on it, and it was hilarious, but it wound up being just fine. 
that's that's my story. All Doesn't right. sound so great saying it back, but she did have she did have some input if she would have given it. Well, now I wish the stream would have just froze on you again because that was boring. Damn. <laughs> And then they lived happily ever after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forever. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, Robin says she loves winter. Did you get your album yet, Robin? No. How do you know about winter? She heard it on the live stream, I'm sure. Yeah. Nah, she wasn't there. Mm -hmm. oh, so, okay. Phoenix that just commented, I just saw his comment come up. He was also in the live stream. Um, he's someone that I talk to on the internet. He follows me on YouTube, whatever. I would like to point out that he lives in the UK and it's like one in the morning there and he's staying up to watch us. So, Oh, man. Thank you, yeah. Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Thank you for thank being you. here, truly. You're yeah, wasting your time. You should sleep midnight. instead, but thank you. I said seven and he's like, that's midnight for me. And I was like, oh, man, are you still going to be awake? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to watch you guys. And I was like, that is awesome. Thank you. So That's awesome. We have so many people in the UK that reach mm. out to us all the time and that we uh, talk to uh, one day. One day. One day. Hopefully. So anyone who caught the live stream knows, um, you know, you have like this seasonal concept kind of going on with this album. Like, where did you get that idea? um life changes as the seasons does so it was kind of you know life love and people you know they come and go so yeah it was just it's all an emotional prick that makes sense yeah. a big prick <laughs> i would also like to big say prick. a serious note um about seasons mm -hmm. that um as a canadian Florida people have no idea about winter. No, they like, don't. No. I was, I I was told. Not Canada North, but. No, well, like, you were like, I have a fireplace. And I was like, why do you have a fireplace? You live in Florida. You were like, we, still, we still get the seasons in this part. No, you, no, you don't. No, you but don't. not like you do. I mean, we're not getting fucking bleached in snow, yeah. so. You know, yeah, if I mean, there's no snow, it's not winter. We very okay. occasionally get snow. Yeah. You don't get, like, you know, three feet at a time, though, like we do. Well, yeah. sometimes we get sometimes in the winter we go to Tennessee and get half a winter. So that's what I do anyway. When well, it's I know. winter, I usually I like to go to Tennessee in the mountains. Well, Tyler, you had said like, "Oh, I'd like love to experience Canadian winter," and I was like, "I believe you are delusional, sir." Yeah. But no, I would. I would. It's because, it's cold. Like it is really cold, and with this much metal in my face, it's not a good time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's wow. all sorts of, of ear warmers and things because no, bald mm. girls with lots of metal, it's not a good time. So we got what people else? all over the place. Almost 3 a.m. here in Finland. Oh, oh, Finland. Finland. Finland, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. We got yeah. someone here in Portugal. Portugal, wow. hello, Portugal. Oh, uh, here from Madame Babson. Hi. <laughs> we are too, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to give a special thank you to Finland for producing Sonata Arctica, who was one of my favorite bands growing up. I'd like to give a special thanks to Finland for producing him and Villa Vallo. <laughs> oh thank my you. God. Yes. You gonna, if you ever meet Vil, you were going to jerk him off. Dude, if I ever meet yeah. Villa Vallo, I'm going to shit myself and pass out, and I don't know what's coming first. <laughs> You're going to jerk him <laughs> off. We're at the same time. I'm sure he's a patient man. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, Madam Absinthe, is that correct? Winter, spring, second winter, early summer, confused. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's been like here, it still gets warm in the daytime, but it's been so cold in the mornings that like we can see our breath when I walk to work. Damn. Yep. It's, it's, yeah. And then it gets warm in the afternoon. You don't know what to make of it. So I think we're in the confused time now before autumn. Yeah. No, thanks. But you me, I hate the heat. Yeah, I actually hate the heat too, which was such a good time to go to Florida and film in like an Iron Forge. It was a really good uh, life yeah. for someone who hates heat. But you know what, though? I would rather any day of the week, I would rather be cold than hot. Because if you're cold, at least you can put on a sweater, get a blanket, you can do something about mm -hmm. it. If you're hot, you just feel like you're dying. And that's it. You can't get more naked. No, I mean, you, you can't, like, from this, but, like, that's well, right. you, can't, you can't get more naked and survive. I hear you. You get pretty cold when you're skinned. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Also, speaking of more naked, God, the morning I was getting ready for the video shoot, and you showed up, I'm pointing like, like this, like I could point at one of you individually. I can't. 
Yeah. <laughs> you showed up, Tyler. And uh, knocked, and I was putting my makeup on, and I turned around, and I was literally, like, in my bra with only my top lip painted black, so it just looked like a mustache. And I was like, oh, yeah. you know? and I was like, wow, what a flattering way to meet someone. That's delightful. I sure wish You're I had, like, you know, my face actually. Around, but anyway. You were wearing the Kim Possible. Yes, exactly. Yes. Well, the only reason that the only reason that I did that is because Tom's like, "Hey, Missy's right down the hall. Oh, she's in there. Oh, she's just doing something else. Just go knock on the door." I'm like, yeah, uh, but not her lipstick. And it just looked. It was just like just a black top lip. Yeah. I'm like, "Oh, that looks great. So happy." <laughs> well, we would uh, we would share terribly hot experiences throughout the day. So I figured just just break break you in just fine. Exactly. Yeah, I should have brought my like all my drag queen setting sprays and stuff. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but I had many regrets. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. We got another one in Portugal. Portugal. Awesome. awesome. People are like staying up late. They're invested in watching us be stupid. They are. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't fallen asleep yet. Right? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's a shame we ran out of alcohol. <laughs> uh -oh. well, I mean, we got a little bit of Everclear, but I'm drinking that. Was that <laughs> oh, okay. Good morning. You want it? Japan. Good Japan. morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Brianna. I was talking to her about her order earlier. So we got you covered. Don't worry about your address information. We, we'll take care of it. Th thank you, everybody that's ordered and supported so far. There you go. Sweet. Are you really going to drink that? Yeah, why not? What are you drinking? Oh, like Straight ever clear. Okay. It's ever clear. Oh my god! It's like fucking rubbing alcohol. What is? I don't think we have that here. <laughs> but like you don't you it's don't know what ever clear is. You're just gonna chug it. Great. Ooh. Good idea. <laughs> there was some questionable drinks being made at the pirate bar. So holy shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's plenty of those. Wayne's like, hey, it's all free, whatever you want. Hey, just drink it up. I'm like, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Tyler well, got a little toasty. Yeah. He's about to go on an adventure. I got yeah, a little toasty. I dropped, like, knocked a bottle right off the counter. Well, drinking Great. plus those heels is not a good time. So I didn't I didn't have very much because I'm like, I do not need to fall and like break both of my legs on these boots. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it nice and mostly yeah. sober. Yeah, Dude. well, I'm profusely sweating, and there's nothing but alcohol to drink, so uh, that's Should not I a bring good time. Some? Yes, bring some so I can try it, please. Luke, uh, just bring some rum. That's all I want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, how did you figure out what order to put the songs on your album? Typically, I like to start bright and more uplifting and then dive bomb into hell so that's yeah usually the ticket that's fair that's He's fair cool. well if that if that's true then you did great on the last album oh there's more yeah. more there's well, more and a, and a we went from really happy to here's gonorrhea <laughs> yeah God, i wouldn't call that particularly Ooh. sad just gross <laughs> that song was great though <laughs> i thought i thought it was a good play on words there's a glitter dick appearing in the screen. Oh, just, uh, oh my we're God. Getting off of oh, we're we're getting, getting kicked off of all platforms. <laughs> <Consider> <laughs> the but I have more wine now. So, you know. Natasha, OMG, I haven't had ever clear since I was a teen. And I blacked out for a day. Yeah, <laughs> Natasha knows about the blackout right now from that shit. I didn't have that much. You were like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. I don't think we have that here. It's probably all old. Drinking micro brews. Hello, Shannon. Oh, cheersing. Okay, cheersing. There we go. Excellent. All right. Hey, guys, I wanted to let you know I heard the deluxe CD. Oh, Thank you, Javier. Please, please, please oh, for the love man. of God, tell me you put the lyrics in there. But if more not, let us know what your lyrics. product. Robin, flying to Dark Forest Fest, we'll have to find a liquor store. I think there is one not too far away. If I remember, yeah, it's, it's New one. Jersey. They've got they've got some liquor stores in New Jersey. Yeah, so. yeah they've got a few on every corner. I mean, how else do you explain <laughs> Jersey Shore? <laughs> I've never actually seen Jersey Shore. Oh, can I tell a story? I have a story. Okay. Yeah. 
Story so this, no, no one knows this. This just happened today. This is brand new. So into my Instagram inbox comes this random message request, which I screenshotted to read to you. So a lady named, oh, that is a different thing. I'm reading instructions for Sunday. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. That's the thing. Okay. So a lady named Robin, which is just what reminded me here, sent me this message. And I thought that I would read it to you guys because you would appreciate this. She says, okay, here's a funny story. So I follow you on Facebook religiously, right? I just returned home from a trip to Oregon to see a childhood friend that I haven't seen in 37 years. Our first day hanging out together, we're in Newport, a coastal town known for sea lions. We go to this femme fatale curiosity shop and we're walking around talking about bands we love. And she turns to me and starts talking about October Noir. She said she discovered them by dot, dot, dot. And we both said it at the exact same time, mad of absinthe. She yells out, Missy is the best. And we both laughed and we're like, what are the odds? We haven't seen each other in 37 years. And we meet up in a remote seaside town, the same music. And then we both watch your YouTube videos and love October Noir. What a crazy small world. I love it. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's I, love hearing, I love hearing stories like that, man. It's, it's like the, you know, it's worth living for. So bringing weirdos together. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was so awesome. I was like, what a random story. I thought that was so cool. Well, you, you've had one, like when you went to work on this bass strap, you walked into that music store and that guy to tell that story. Yeah, that was a good yeah. story. That so, was wild. I, I've never made a bass strap before. I'm not, and like I'll try anything. I will make anything, but when it's something that has to be functional, it makes me, there it is, yeah. It makes me nervous because I'm like, I don't have, I don't know about guitars. I don't know how this attaches. I don't want to like, you know, the guitar to like crash and everything to go wrong. So I have to make sure that I do this right. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't have the, the like hardware pieces and I didn't know where I was going to get them. So my friend one arm Bob said, why don't we go to a music store and see if you can buy an old guitar strap and, and harvest it for the parts. And I was like, that is a great idea. And I guess, and I didn't know this, normal guitar straps are two inches wide and that one's three inches. So no one had, it was a huge problem. So I walk into this local music store and the guy behind the counter is like looking at me and he was like, are you Madam Absinthe? And I said, I am actually, that's weird. And he was like, yeah, like, it's so cool. Me and my partner, like, love your YouTube videos, whatever. And I said, yeah, I, thank you. I really appreciate that. I said, here's what I'm trying to do. I don't even know if you sell guitar straps. I'm trying to make one. I need the hardware for like one that I'm making that's three inches wide. It's for this really cool band from like Florida that's very like goth rock. And he literally put his hands on his face like this and was like, Oh my God, are you making a guitar strap for October Noir? And I was like, <laughs> I am. What are the chances? He was like freaking out. He's like, it's you and it's them. And this is so exciting. And I was like, what are the chances? What yeah. are the chances that there's really a cool. random guy? It was, it was awesome. It was totally surreal. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been really cool. Uh, oh, Shannon thank says, thank you for sharing me and Robin's story. Yay. Yep. Oh screenshot i said i said if you guys show up let me know and then I'll, I'll read the story i tried to wait until they got here they told me they were coming tonight so i'm like i'll try to wait to read the story until you get here can you send us that screenshot yeah absolutely thank you and pictures uh, of the whole i want to keep that and put that on my robin <laughs> they, they must be uh they must be great friends by the way but to to not have seen each other for so long and still be into the same stuff yeah, like, that's that's really cool. I love stuff like that. And you know, I mean, how many times do things like that probably happen and people don't tell you? It just happens and they think, mm -hmm. ah, and they go about their day. But it's so cool when people go out of their way to tell you that, right? Yeah. Because otherwise we would have never known. And like that made my day when I when I read that. That really made my day. So I, I really appreciated that they that they messaged me that and what fortuitous timing so I could read it on the air with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, I love stuff. Man, it's yeah, it's it's very cool. So I'm hoping we'll we'll have some uh, similar experiences uh, going to Dark Force next year too. So I was yeah. shocked at the amount of people that recognized me last year at Dark Force. Like a lot, a lot of people stopped me and talked to me, um, mm -hmm. and that was surprising. I thought there was going to be like one person being like, "Hey, Missy," on the way by, but like it was a lot. So maybe this year too. And I love talking to people. Like the more people that come and talk to me, the better, because I am a social creature by nature. So if people aren't talking to me, the moment I am left to my own devices, I will just like look 
spot somebody and like aggressively run across the room and socialize with them. Well, you so, and I are about to yellow brick road this ship when we get there, so just get ready. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know I saw you there, but I didn't know who the hell you were. It was like, oh, wow, that's a tall person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm kind of hard to miss, so that's fair. <laughs> what was that, was that movie? Though? That's a huge bitch. Yeah. Oh, my, okay. Listen, do you know that that has been the bane of my fucking existence? <laughs> <laughs> like, every time I walk downtown when the bars are open, all the time, behind my back, people yelling that continuously. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, you know what? I love you, so they can go fuck themselves. Yep. Yeah. They're, you're not huge. They just meant to say tall. Mm hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they meant. Yeah. Way to sweeten that blow, Tyler. That's right. All <laughs> oh, about a sweet blow. <laughs> uh, we do have someone asking exactly how tall you are. Okay, so in bare feet. Like flat foot, no death hawk, no shoes, six feet. Oh, I got one inch on you. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you're. I don't want to you, but like, yeah. And then the plus death hawk, which can be any given height. And then generally, so my regular, like my regular everyday new rock platforms are only three inches. Um, and then my tallest heels are, I want to say, eight. So. The ones I wore in the video shoot, I think, were six and a half. They weren't that okay. big. So, yeah. So, anywhere between six and over seven, depending on, <laughs> depending <laughs> on what kind of footwear I'm wearing. Yes. <laughs> yes, she an is. Amazing person. Yeah. Absolutely. We agree, Terrell. Tall and Bitches Club. Missy, yes. you're, the, you're the president of the Tall Bitches Club. Oh, oh Andrew's, Andrew's coming in. Ooh, I like that. There those. you go. These are the boots yeah. I wore in the video shoot. These are like six nice. and a half. Inch. Yeah. These are my favorite. These are my favorite ones. No, my eight inch ones have like a little built in cemetery in the platform. I I like cut the platform off and built a little cemetery terrarium in them. That's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, actually, my dad cut the platform off because I didn't want to do it badly. Yeah, but regardless, I mean, like your creativity with stuff is just, it's really mind blowing. It's really appealing. Even doing your, um, your yeah, social cool. stuff. Like you had the greatest fucking outfits in Sophia, so it was the only Thank thing that you. stood out. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some people appreciated it, some people definitely didn't. I was actually surprised at the amount of hate that I got from that TV show. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. No. But she I wasn't, wasn't making Barbie outfits. Yeah, because oh, I wasn't making no. Barbie. Outfits. Yeah. It was a lot, but all the other designers, like I was worried that it was going to be like a catty, bitchy, like atmosphere, and it wasn't. The the other designers were lovely. It was when the show came out that people on the internet just went nuts and said terrible stuff for some reason. <laughs> Phoenix, don't bring that shit back around. Uh, I think we're overdue we're for. Uh... If you've been to any festivals, festivals in Europe. In Europe. Um, I did go to Whitby Gothic Weekend a few years ago. Um, it is the only time that I, well, not the only time. I visited Europe when I was like 15. The only time as a grown person that I have visited Europe, I did go to Whitby Gothic Weekend. It was amazing. And I can't wait to go back. Like, I, I follow a lot of European goths on social media and mm. stuff. And I'm jealous every day of like the cemeteries and the parties they get to go to and everything else. It's being stuck in Canada. There's not much going on. So we got to make our own fun. Yeah. We'll try being stuck in Florida. It's like Canada, but hotter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, just, you just move a lot slower here. We use a midget five foot two. I feel five like I'm two. two. I have I'm some friends. Four, that are, you, know, you know what pisses me off though about being tall and other tall people out there, probably tall women. Tell me if this happens to you. Like I said, six feet without my shoes on, nothing. And then the moment I wear heels, it doesn't matter if they're three inches, if they're four inches, if they're eight inches, people look at me and go, ah, I thought you were really tall, but clearly it's just your shoes. Mm. Like, like <laughs> not, I'm getting five two or something. I'm like, they're only this big. Like what, what don't you understand about math? You know? uh, like, jealousy, <laughs> jealousy. Could be. 
Look, I mean, if you think about it, like if you look at the old days of models and stuff, I say old days, but even back to the 90s, like the long legs and the, the taller women, the skinnier, like you have that kind of frame and that build for it. Um, so, yeah, naturally, I think they kind of flocked it. Thank you. Uh, where, yeah, they're going to be jealous over it. So. Yes and no. I take I take a lot of shit about it, too. Men don't like it at all. But for the well, that's oh, yeah, because you're, you're encroaching on their tallness and they don't like that shit because they want to mm-hmm. feel like they're – you know, supreme. Mm-hmm. Well, good luck to them. <laughs> yes. They'll need it around you. Yes, exactly. Hey, all right, Kyler. Have a good night, brother. Okay, Bye, thank Kyler. you for coming. Later, Kyler. Hey, man. Uh, Luke says, any chance October Noir might play some shows as they travel up the coast to Dark Forest? Um, That's going to be really tough to say. So one of the things that we were trying to put together was whether or not we were going to fly or drive. Um, and I think we're going to end up driving, but we'd have to leave out on like a Thursday and drive all day and night, most likely. Yeah, how long of a drive is that for you guys? It's 17 hours. Jesus. So, I mean, it's not bad. We've we've done similar before. So, But we want to make sure that we have all of our equipment. We want our lighting. I heard about the sound and stuff like that. I want to make sure we bring our, our sound equipment just in case we need it. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, we'll probably we're probably not going to try and pull anything on the way up or down. It's just going to be there, be there for three days, and then come back. So it's a lot. It's a lot going on for three days. Like it's three days of just continuous mm-hmm. everything all the time, and then you sleep very badly for a couple hours, and then you do it all again. Then you sleep very badly for a couple hours, and you do we it know, all again. Yeah. We know we know that all too well. We've, we've done that <laughs> yep. Before, yep. No regrets, but it's it's a lot. All right, Jess has a question for you. Who is your favorite band last year at Dark Force, Missy? Are you about to be <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's right next to you. Hey, get, get her in the film. Get her in the yeah, just bring, get her a seat. Uh, Jessica, come in. in. Oh, Make her come and sit beside you. This is because I'm I gave her a glass of wine. This is what I get. <laughs> Make hey, come sit beside you. She needs come to tell, Je- tell Jessica to come share her her height with us. Yep, yeah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, how tall are you? I don't know. She's like, oh. she's, like she's like five five. You represent the five five. Five. <laughs> like five 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 six. But uh, we have had a couple of lessons on walking in heels. It's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Is that the, why same, she's on the-, the same thing happened with Trey when we tried to get him in hills. It didn't go very well at all. Trey, what size are your feet, sir? My feet? Yeah. He hasn't said anything in an hour. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're overdue for a whistle. Uh, uh, no. Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting. What's, what size are your feet, Trey? Yeah. I said 10, bitch. Huh? 10. Oh, you'd fit in my shoes, sir. 10. Tyler, what's, yeah. what size is your shoes? 12. Oh, okay, too big. Yeah, mine too. Oh, yeah, no, no dice. But Trey can fit into my shoes, so maybe we need to do some lessons on walking in heels next time we're there. Yeah. Yes. I'm just saying. You got yeah, to you want- be a lot taller. Yeah. No. Yeah, Trey. Yeah, it, yeah and what? then he, he wears them on stage and trips and uh, falls off and breaks his ass. That's that would actually be the probably the best part of our set. Oh, ZZ Bottom, Lane oh. Gailey. And then it goes from ZZ Bottom to Nikki Dix. <laughs> so, Trey, have we ever told the story about when we were at the gas station in Florida on the way back from all that, from all the, the long weekend with Sister Kill Cycle? I walk in the gas station and Trey's like, somebody just asked me if I was Kid Rock. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, the Dude, I, I, yeah, I did not know if, if that story has ever been told, but it had to be told. That's so funny. I walk in and Trey funny. looks at me pissed off. He's like, oh, yeah, come on, <laughs> get rock. We're deep in Florida, so yeah. there are a lot of uh, strange people deep in Florida. His name is Kid Cock. Yeah. <laughs> so the my uh, my look for so fierce for the the gender bend category. I did that mm-hmm. rock star look, and it, it was supposed to be a cross between like Kid Rock and Rob Zombie. So mm-hmm. it, you know, I get it. The like dirty, filthy, 
shirtless rock star thing. I get it, but like, I don't. I don't think I'd be flattered if I was compared to Kid Rock. Certainly. Yeah, I, I cold shouldered him pretty hard. <laughs> Trey Trey looks like an innocent child in in real life. He just looks like a kid in a way. Why is it Kid Rock? <laughs> Uh, that one. You get that Eric demonetized. <laughs> I'm not monetized as it is. It's fine. <laughs> Luke, uh, sir, yeah. what are you smoking, my friend? Bounce, the bag, the bag, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, we got to bring Trey into the fold of this conversation that he's been in. Hmm. What's your hair care routine? Yeah, there we go. A beanie. Uh, I'm asking for a friend. What'd you say? A beanie. <laughs> See? Uh, See? I will say that Trey Trey washes his hair every day without fail. I am washing mine every day when this is happening. Because, like, you can't go to sleep with this. Yeah. So, yeah, not with that. I've done it. It's not a good time. <laughs> definitely. If my hair's off, I'm definitely showering at the end of the day. <laughs> Well, not not too long ago, we did a run of shows that were that like we did a run of three day shows, but they were there was quite a bit of distance in between, and that felt like two weeks. So it would be very interesting to see. But yeah, I watched Trey's hair care routine. He had to go to Target and get some uh, some of his special shampoo and deodorant. And I was like, damn, it's he's committed good. to the cause. So even when I was packing, even when I was packing to come to Florida, I already knew that I was going to have to do checked luggage because they don't really allow aerosol in carry on. And I was like, this requires a lot of aerosol. So we're, we're definitely packing like multiple cans of hairspray. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just hairspray and teasing is my hair care routine. Just tease it, piss it off, hairspray it, wash it, do it again. And they let you have that in Canada. I bet the government hates you there for all the all the uh, stuff that goes into the ozone layer. Yes, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. We can't have paper or we can't have plastic straws anymore. It's all paper, and like can't have plastic bags anymore. But they still let us have aerosol hairspray for now. Yeah, for now. Well, Justin Trado. Trado. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's a water bottle thing. Dude, you uh, used to get picked up from junior high school by an old friend who'd wear a long skirt, fishnet stockings, and combat boots. That's amazing. I love it. Yep. Yep. Surprise, it was actually me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jessica's just bringing me random shit, apparently. So she brought me this chickpea. Oh, God, why? Oh, You're welcome. So wow, okay. His name is That's Nugget. <laughs> yep, his name is Nugget. Where the hell did you get that from? A friend of mine that does taxidermy made it for me. That is awesome. <laughs> nice. Right. One, two, three, four, five. It's seven baby chickens sewn together. What the yeah, fuck? I'm all about taxidermy wow. and baby chickens, but like, I'm terrified of centipedes. So that thing is just. This, this feels <laughs> wrong. It does <laughs> feel wrong. <laughs> you want to do the human centipede? Nope. Okay, I would die for nugget. <laughs> he's a pure and poor, perfect little boy. Nugget oh, needs There we go. That's a whole ass happy meal. <laughs> Kitty cat, you cut it out. <laughs> oh, hey, did you ask Cat about the Chattanooga Choo Choo? No, I did not. Please tell us about the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Okay, okay. so, uh, so Cat lives in Chattanooga, and I asked Tom. If he was gonna introduce her to the Chattanooga Choo Choo, and <laughs> he didn't know what I was talking about, so apparently it's a song. It's an old song, to my knowledge. And you didn't ask her. We just got off the phone at that point. Well, I'm fucking asking right now. Tell me what it's about. I don't know. I don't know. I was. I wanted her to tell you because she. Well, you're the one. You're the one that knows about it. I don't fucking know. It's, I, it's just a song that I know. Cat, <laughs> tell us about the Chattanooga Choo Choo. If, it, if if she chimes in. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget the chickpea, yes. <laughs> yeah. We need illustrations with that, too. 
I can, I've, I've taken a few amateur taxidermy classes. We could do that. We could do that. <laughs> oh yeah, Ash. Thank you for pre-ordering your album. Yeah, Thank Ash, you. you didn't put what fucking song lyrics you wanted. I need your song lyrics, please. Yeah, send us a message on Facebook. Or it's just put it in like here. I'll, I'll remember it. I've been working on them this afternoon anyway. So Yeah, just send it to confirm. That is not a song title. <laughs> I have so much taxidermy in my house. So much. And the worse it is, the more I like it. If it was done by like a two-year-old, it is my favorite. Because it's art. Yeah, we call it taxidermy. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I, I have a lot that. of taxidermy. I don't. There's so much taxidermy in the South that you that. could really look into that. So the funny thing is, when I was in when I was in the Pirate Forge, I was looking at his, his taxidermy, his alligator skins, and his bullfrog things, and I was like, "Where did you get this?" And he was like, "Off the alligators." And I was like, "Oh yeah, you guys have alligators." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, was not aware because, like, up here you just get like, you know, taxidermy that's not southern things, like, yeah, more like bears and shit. But like, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, is there googly eyes on anything? There is googly eyes on some things. <laughs> yeah. Really bad fish taxidermy that have that have googly eyes on them. Tell Jessica to grab that. Jessica, right. where are you? I think she's down the hall coughing her lungs out. She's just getting over like being ill, so she's yeah. keeping going away and, and oh. Yeah, they need to see the googly fish. Googly McFish. His name is Googly McFish Fish. Why does she just run like Jack Sparrow? <laughs> That's a good question. Have you had too much rum? No, I haven't had enough wine. Okay, come here. All right, that's, hey, that's right. Yeah, there's yeah. too many taxidermy fish. This is Googly McFish Fish. <laughs> <laughs> he has, his eyes move around. Yeah, he has googly eyes. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fish he is. He's flat on the bottom, like completely flat. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It almost kind of looks like a blowfish, but it's definitely not. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know what, I don't know what he is. But anyway, he uh, he's a thing. Oh, hang okay. on. We're getting handed more. Okay, this is a Lord Siegfried McTwo piece. <laughs> he is the world's most horrible squirrel. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. What fucking kind of squirrel is it? I think it's huge. What size are squirrels where you live? Because this is how big they are. Yeah. Not that fucking size. Yeah. Like half that size. You no, know, squirrels here are like the size of cats. Like they're big. Those aren't squirrels. Yes. That's a squirrel. So when I got this guy, he was in two pieces. I had to stitch him back together. I got him for $5 because he was some assembly required. Um, <laughs> he, has a really, he looks terrified. Yeah. <laughs> so when I got him, I, I stitched him back together. And then I was like, we're going to take selfies. So I'm like this. And I'm like taking weird taxidermy selfies. And I look over and he had so many bugs in his butthole. It was terrible. Oh. So then there oh. was, there was I can like, relate. Yeah, like yeah you can. Yeah, it was a thing. It was a whole thing. So anyway. <laughs> See, Canadian, I got attacked by one once completely seriously. It jumped out of a garbage can and like came from my face. And they are this big. So like. That is wild. Uh -huh. That's why the fucking rats in New York are goddamn twice that size. That I mean, holding. we got swamp rats here. The Nutria. <laughs> you seen those? Those things are like. <laughs> It just seemed like the, <laughs> those things are like the size of a bull terrier. In the pulse, yeah. Yeah. Pill for that? Yes, there is a pill for having bugs in your butthole, so I've heard. <laughs> That's a nostalgia trip for you. Oh. Yes. Okay, squirrel secretly run the CIA. Probably. All right. yeah, I can believe Probably. It. Yeah. yeah, the CIA secretly runns squirrels. Oh, okay. It goes that mm, way. I think Tyler's on That's, something. Yeah, Herbs are real. <laughs> uh, like like the bees that they that they uh the bees with the cameras in them floating. Yes, around. they are R U S S. R O U S S. Rodents of unusual size. I appreciate that movie reference. I actually just Dang. got a commission today to make a princess buttercup for somebody for Halloween. So yes, yeah. Cool. So I gotta go like red and orange fabric shopping. <laughs> I actually asked her if her partner was going to go as an R-O-U-S because that seems important. Yes. What? 
<laughs> Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <clears throat> yep. Thank you. Thank you for all the Princess Bride references. That makes me really, really happy. <laughs> Stacy says hi to Jess. Oh, there you go. You get you get she, she needs a chair beside you so she could join in too. There, there is another chair, but where did it go? It's you're busy running around getting. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm here for the Princess Bride references. I heard Trey is actually bald and the hair is sewn into his beanie. That is true. I can't. Fucking <laughs> <it. laughs> Brian's here. Oh god, <laughs> it's gonna be a long fucking night. He's not wrong. <laughs> hey Trey, take your, take your beanie off. Let's see what what hides underneath. No, you got to get in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just fart. <laughs> you just fucking fart. I think that's the yes. Oh, here we go. Uh, Missy, someone says your fish looks like Jar Jar Banks from Star Wars. <laughs> I appreciate that people are explaining that to me because I people that watch me frequently know that I have almost no experience with like modern movies or modern technology. So if it's not black and white and from the 1950s, I probably don't know about it. Um, I do know who Jar Jar Binks is, though. And yes, I, I think that fish does look quite a lot like him. Yeah. I never thought about that. But yeah. Trace Look at the difference between American and Australian opossums. Okay. I actually like possums. They're, they're I got nothing great. on that. Yeah, possums. Yeah, are did. Trey <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why he went that's, off. That's why his camera's it off. Was, it was him. <laughs> He's changing his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> His cameras. There he is. There he is. Off. Bitch. <laughs> Are you still wearing well, pants under that vest? Back. Uh. Yes. He did it again. <laughs> is that your fucking? It's his phone buzzing. Oh. Put it on airplane oh, mode. Okay. Well, airplane mode will just take him off. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's gone again. Rub some bacon on it. Oh, I love bacon. Me too. You can have my portion of bacon. How's that? I don't like the Canadian bacon, though. It's got to be real bacon. That's okay. I don't like it either, so. I'm not <laughs> a My girl over here is getting some screen time, and she's very happy about it. Yay. Thank you. Right. Is that a Norwegian forest cat? <laughs> no, it's a uh, ragamuffin. Oh, okay. <laughs> A fucking what? Ragamuffin. Ragamuffin? Yes. Is it's, that a real? Yeah, yes, that is the term. Trey looks like a fagamuffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, goodness. What's that? <laughs> uh, Ash is like, do you mean ragdoll for your cat? No, ragamuffin. I've never heard of ragamuffin. Uh, ragamuffin. Put some maple concentrate on that bacon. They mm -hmm. make, okay, do they have maple flavored bacon in the States? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was just here because everything is goddamn maple flavored. Yeah, it's also known as Canadian bacon. <laughs> no. That was a joke. Dad joke. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know. I mean, you told me about freedom fries and I thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't speak American. I'm sorry. I don't know. The name. <laughs> also, like, I don't know the the friggin the the guns. They blow my mind. I I don't know how to deal with that. I was just like, what do you mean everyone has guns? Like, <laughs> that's not a yeah. that's not a thing here. That was that was very confusing yeah. to me. I was like that. I don't know about I don't know about that. Doesn't surprise me. This is a oh, land yeah. of the free and the home of the brave. So I learned about I that. I about freedom fries. Honestly, before I came down and you were like, do you know what freedom fries are? I was like, they're going to feed me some weird American French fries covered in like meat and horribleness. I'm sure of it. I'm sure this is some kind of weird spray cheese American thing. But like, turned out it's just ammunition. Who knew? 
Bullets. I didn't yes, know. There is. There's Trey, you're not about to pull a Ron McNutt, are you? Maple, maple bacon flavored coffee. Who the Nutty. fuck would drink that? <laughs> Never heard of I it. I guarantee they were on something when they came up with that. Probably. Mm. These are why you need to check your ideas when you're sober. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I have a pair of boots that have the, the tread on the boots. It's just giant penises with like sperm. What? And I'm like, completely seriously i'm like doesn't this seem like the kind of thing somebody had this idea when they were like drunk or high but then didn't check the idea when they were sober <laughs> and, then actually, and then actually made the product right i can't believe like, tom doesn't have those boots yeah no you always need to check your ideas when you're sober. yeah i'm getting there Bacon flavored lube yep Oh, yeah. look, look, everything I talk about, Jessica's just bringing me stuff. Look, this is the tread on the boot. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God. Yeah. Yeah. Holy I shit. I can't imagine what a hunter might think if they were tracking <laughs> French. <laughs> 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 yep. Big yeah. Bigfoot's dragging his dick. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> might need yeah, to get the crocodile hunter on that one. Fucking Doug coming in with the most appropriate take. <laughs> holy shit. holy shit, man! I have never. In my, I'm getting off the stream. <laughs> That's That's right. Going downhill quick. This is what it. happens. You agree to live stream yeah. with me. You talk about weird shit. I probably have reference for all of it. So. Oh, it, it's been an entertaining night. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of weird shit. Not that you need a hand, but you need a hand. Oh yeah. So this is my friend One Arm Bob. Um this is I was gonna ask about one arm Bob because you yeah. just said it so so just like matter of fact. I'm like, whoa. Oh, I, I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna pull up a picture of him. You you need to see that is a he real is, deal thing. He is a short, round, one armed crust punk who wears a hook for a hand. And he when I show you this picture, I'm sure you'll be able to smell it from Florida. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, because oh, yeah. So anyway, sometimes he has to wear an actual hand, uh, and I guess the, they give him a new one every whatever it is, five years or something. So this is one of his old hands that he gave me. Is it the similar uh, smell of foreskin? I don't know. I've never smelled Bob's foreskin, thankfully. <laughs> God, that's a, that's um, a hell of a bitch. But he does. He performs. He does like sideshow, like Coney Island sideshow performing, and he. Uh, does like machete juggling and machete cuts and stuff. So he mm -hmm. tries the machete on his on his arms before he uses it. So those are all machete cuts. Okay. Yeah. And he signed one of these. I don't know if it's this one, but he usually carves OAB into them, one arm bob. Um, so usually as a gift, because if you're friends with punks, the gifts you get are very strange and unusual. Uh, for Christmas, Brody was given a year's worth of Bob's toenail clippings in a jar. So we oh, yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, on. On. hold on. I'm making Dick Cheese mead for Tom. Because he was that <laughs> If you, think I'm, if you think I'm kidding, I am not. I'm sure that when Jessica returns from her current coughing fit, she will bring me over the jar of toenails for your viewing, for your viewing delight. Who the Ooh. fuck does that? Bob. Hey, what is up, my friend? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so this is okay. Yeah, this is this is one our Bob. It's like the handicap version of a clockwork orange. Look at that. Yes, yeah, very much. Yes. Yeah. He is a delightful human and he comes to my birthday party every year and performs the human birthday candle. Uh, for me, which is actually, here's a picture of me and him. Wait, 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 there we go. That's a picture of me and him together. <laughs> yep. And this hook, you probably can't see it, but he has a giant, wait, 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 a giant serrated hook on in this picture. He calls it the puppy shredder. Okay. <laughs> yep. yep. And uh, yeah, so he, he will come and perform the human birthday candle where he breathes fire and all this. And if you're very lucky, uh, or in my case, extremely unlucky, so these, uh, these prosthetics, they have a hole right here. That's how it drains sweat out. So when he sweats, the sweat runs out that hole. Mm -hmm. He will pour alcohol into here and you have to put your mouth on this hole and the alcohol comes out. You have to do a shot through the arm. It's not a good time. Nope. Yeah, I've done it. I've totally I think done I'm it. done drinking forever. 
Yeah, that 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 was the turn that took me out. It was it was fireball too. It was fireball that I drank through this hole, and it was oh, not a good time. Ugh. Not a good I time. Like fireball. I don't either. I don't either. But you don't get a choice. So okay, here's the thing: if you're friends with punks, the tradition is for your birthday every year they have to steal you a bottle of alcohol. It cannot be purchased; it has to be stolen, and it has to be stolen down their pants first of all. So when they show up with it, they pull a bottle of alcohol out of their sweaty, horrible, unwashed punk pants. And then you have to drink it. And whether or not it's through the arm or of your own volition is up to you, but you have to drink it. So this happens every year at my birthday. <laughs> there you go. See? Yep. Yep. Hey. Bottle of a clear. You can thank uh, one arm Bob for saving our livers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. He has saved many a liver in his time. <laughs> All right, have you without them, we'd be dyers. Mm. How do you still have 60 fucking people watching this shit? <laughs> <laughs> me the toenails and the letter. She's bringing me the to she's bringing me the toenails. Hang on. It's, it's free. It's free <laughs> and I've never in my life. I know. Only one of them's full of toenails, the other one's teeth. I'm hoping this is fine. Okay. Matter whoever gave you teeth has really okay. weird teeth. All right, so here's the let here's the letter. Here's the letter that came with it. Okay. And it says, and it says, I want you to know that this present took me a whole year to put together for you. This means I have been thinking about you for a whole entire year. I feel there is two ways for this to go down. The first, you will smile and say thank you. The second, you will quietly stand up, leaving the room and end our friendship. I believe this to be the grossest gift I have ever given to you. <laughs> At least he acknowledges it. <laughs> and I feel this will make a great addition to your creepy stuff around the house. Wishing you Merry Christmas. Love, one arm Bob. And this is a year's worth of his toenail clippings. It was, it was very sweet of him, so I, I yeah. had to give it up. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Some have like pink toenail polish on them in here. It's it's delightful. Oh my god. He, yeah. he took he took the time to collect them for you. He did. He did. Yeah. yeah. That's just valuable. That's a what a, that's what a, a gem. Supply. Yep. I mean for yep. whatever you might use it for. Yep. And he drew his little he drew his little one arm bob skull for us. Yep. Okay. So, yep. So there, there you go. These are the kind of gifts that you get when you're friends with crust punks. I don't recommend it. Also, you have to drink shots through a prosthetic arm. So anyway, if any of you want to come to my birthday, it's coming no, up. No, definitely not. Before. Not any fucking more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good I'm time. I the cops show up every year. Can confirm. See? There you go. <laughs> Proof that I don't just lie on the internet. This is all true, you guys. Oh my goodness. I think the last thing we need is to get arrested in Canada. Oh, they don't get arrested. The cops just show up and drink with us and then leave. Like, <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Hey, I'm is, do they have guns? Do the cops carry guns? The cops have guns, yes. The rest of us do not. See, freedom for us. <laughs> That's right. Show them, Trey. Show them the hillbilly bullshit. I'm about to follow Ronnie McNutt. Yay! Thank you, Dexter. Yeah, we had a great time making that video, man. Yes. Very happy with it. Oh my goodness! Have we, we have been gone so far hour and thirty four minutes? I'm just looking at yeah. the time. Holy shit! Yeah, it's been an hour and thirty four minutes. Of this interview. They're like sitting here. Control this. I don't know. This random shit we keep going off on is more interesting than what I was going to talk about. It is. It has been a very interesting hit of you. <laughs> you invited me here. I will talk about random shit until you shut me up. Like that is my jam. So, <laughs> Jess, why are you putting that in chat? <laughs> Wait, tell her to bring her ass next to you and start speaking. Yes, you can have Use your big girl more. voice. More. Okay. Bring us, yeah, bring yeah. us both more wine. God damn it. <laughs> No. Yeah, you need to you need to scooch over and let her sit beside you. There's lots of room. Yeah, we ne we never we never see her. We talk to her all the time. She's just running around right. getting collecting shit for me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The service. It's your cup bearer. It. It's delightful. I was gonna she say make this sure it's not poisoned. I don't, I don't pay her. She doesn't. I don't. I'm yeah, you do. You guys lip sync. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know the people on the internet that asked that? If you really? guys, oh, I'm sure. 
Oh yes, all the time. There's only oh fine, then pour my glass. <laughs> there we go. It's gone yeah. now. The money's gone between us. It will be once I drink this anyway. So there we go. All right, October Noir. Tell me, um, how'd you come up with the cover for your album? My tattoo. Yeah, my tattoo. What tattoo? The cover of the album. Do I have to show it? Yes, obviously. Yeah, yeah show oh, it. Christ. All right, it's right. I can't even get the angle. There we go. Right there. Okay. That one. Yeah. It's a wax seal. Oh, okay. Wax seal. That's cool. So, was that like, is that an actual like photo that you guys set up somehow or? Yeah, actually, I contacted a guy to do a 3D model of it and had to, he had to do the lighting and stuff. So. Okay. Yep. Paid for. Yeah. Do you, want, do you want to explain the meaning or is it? Right. I think we're all getting uh, it's all toasted over here. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very personal meeting. We'll leave it at that. Okay. That's right. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about or should we pull the plug on this shit show? Bitch, we are going for two hours. Two hours. We're already here. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. I will just continue uh, to get Jessica to grab random shit around the living room and tell you random yeah. fucking stories if you want to keep like going. So Show like, and tell. Let's do it. It's a whole, it's a whole ass thing. She's going to bring me a random, oh, she's bringing me a random object. Okay. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So <laughs> this random object is a candle holder that looks like boots. It looks like oh. boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, you know, just I just get brought random stuff. You know what? I'm going to start grabbing random objects. Listen, oh. here you go. <laughs> Doug, Doug's about to show you his dick. Because my friends are my friends. Um, this was actually my friend as a gift got an artist to sculpt this to look like my boobs specifically, apparently. Uh, okay. So, you know, we have we have the the bat tattoo. We have like the piercings, whatever. Uh, but this this artist was obviously a lot more generous than what is actually going on so i i don't know how i feel about that but it's a very interesting gift to receive a candle holder being like i had an artist sculpt you a candle holder based on your own boobs and i was like well thank you question mark. <laughs> but i think they took a little bit of artistic license with the sizing <laughs> but yeah i do appreciate it nonetheless but i appreciate it nonetheless and i sometimes put candles in this and just watch that Around my living room, it's that's fucking cool. Your boobs are fire. Apparently, <laughs> Jessica says my boobs are fire. I don't know that the internet will agree or disagree with that, but you know. They should agree. Show us your boobies. Don't give. Stop drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you said I could have more. <laughs> that's that's fair. Yeah, no, she she needs to stop drinking wine right now. A set of boobs are fire. Fucking show and tell. She's got more to show than I do, so. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Doug? Uh, this is Gujang that uh, Brian Cole gave us. Uh, this was uh, the instrument that we played on uh, Proverbs from the last album. And Cry Little Sister was actually on. That's when we took a, a violin bow and us was raking it. That's really That's cool. cool. You get a little. <laughs> <laughs> I just had threats. <laughs> that's that's a nice reset. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Doug, what were you uh humping back in the background? You know, that was a Gujang. I was yeah, holding yeah. it in front of me and I was Everybody like Everybody wanted to know. Look, I'm such and such dick. I've got uh so and so for a penis. Never fails to get a laugh at parties. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> yep. Doug, Doug is a robot and has no genitalia. <laughs> it's true. Hi. Hi, Trina. So, you know what's funny is, well, it's not actually funny, but I can't, I physically can't wear earbuds. Speaking of like headphones and stuff, because I have, too, I have too much metal. Like, I physically just can't wear earbuds. So, I had to wear like big headphones on the plane when I was coming down to Florida, but mohawk so i also can't wear them over my head so i had to wear them like this like under my face uh the entire ride which made me look really yeah, stupid I saw, 
I saw your no. video and you were you had like an old school Walkman CD player. Yeah, my so I bought that That's CD awesome. player. Yeah, I bought that CD player when I was a teenager, and it is my like go to music all the time. So I brought like you know eight or ten. So you CDs. brought you brought CDs with I you. I did, and a whole bunch of AA batteries. And thank God, you know, I got stuck in Miami for eight and a half hours on my way back. Um, thank God I had extra batteries because I listened to a lot of music. Jesus. There you go. Yeah, well, awesome. I bought all your CDs, you guys. Oh, cool. That's what I've been listening to most of the trip. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I saw that. That made me feel like I was 12 years old on the school bus. So mm -hmm. that was awesome. Yep. Yep. I friggin' love that thing. And I like, I literally have to wear those old school, like fat trip pants because they're the only pants that I can fit my damn CD player in. Exactly. So, yep. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I'm super happy that those are making a comeback if you know this. Are they? Oh, I, I know. Yeah. I yeah. walk yeah. into like a hot topic yeah. right now, and they actually have some like up on the wall. I saw the receipt, and I'm like, no fucking way. I love it. Like, uh, Trip pants. Well, cassette decks are, uh, and tapes and shit are coming back too. So, yeah. We'll probably yeah, see I'm more. Not, I don't understand as much just because like sound quality from those is trash. Mm hmm. I but it's the nostalgia, and that's, you know, that, that was the thing, man. Like, you had the physical fucking thing in your hand when when you bought CDs and stuff. You don't have that anymore. So there is a disconnect. I'm glad that people still buy CDs, to be honest with you. Oh, I do. All the time. Yeah, I listen I to CDs know. all the time. In my car, in my house, there's a giant, like, 60 CD changer behind me, my portable CD player. So funny story. I'm going to embarrass Jessica. She's going to hate me for telling this story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling this story. Get, get her in frame so, when you say I have my, my portable CD player, which you saw in the video. No, she's trying to shut the laptop. No. Okay. Jessica, don't you dare. <laughs> okay. So I had my portable CD player, and Jessica was like, Missy, oh, why do you even have that? It's so stupid. No That's one likes not what I sound like. It is what you sound no, like. Not. She's like, no one likes portable CD players. And I was like, shut up. My portable CD player is amazing. <laughs> and she was like, if you post that on social media, everyone will think you're such a dork, and they'll unfollow you. And I was like, fucking fight me, bitch. So anyway, so I put, I had my portable CD player on, and I put, I'm listening to Rob Zombie's album, uh, Venomous Rat Regeneration Vendor. Yep. And Rob Zombie liked my picture and reposted it and was like, look how cool this girl is listening Damn. to a CD player with my album. And I was like, what's that, Jessica? Is it this? <laughs> Damn. Rob That's Zombie amazing. Is cool, so sorry. Damn, I'm going to see Rob Zombie in a couple of months. Me too. We got tickets to the uh, Rob Zombie Alice Cooper show in September the seventh or sixth, nice. early yeah. September. In early September. Yeah, I'm going to see him in Nashville. We're going to see him in Toronto. Yeah, so I'm very excited. And the friends that we're going with are more excited for Alice Cooper, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm more excited for Rob Zombie because yeah. Well, Mass I mean, you know, Alice, Alice, Alice was Cooper was a little before our time. His latest album was really good, though. Detroit Stories. Be my freaking style. Yeah. So in other random objects from around my house, because yeah. Jessica's just bringing me stuff, someone gifted me a tombstone <laughs> with my name on it. Oh, that's oh. Awesome. Yeah, what's they the found What's the three dots signify? I don't know. Someone just gave me this. They said they found it in the garbage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they were like, you need to have this because it has your name on it. And I was like, yes, I do. So this is another man's treasure. This random pet tombstone just lives in my bedroom now because it has my name on it. So obviously it needs to stay in my house, right? Awesome. Isn't that the rule? If it has your name on it, you have to put it in your house forever. Why Why do you have SS uh, symbology on there? This is this is the way this came to me. That was. I Nazi think it's poor choice in font. I do, I do too, but like. Someone Nazis. Clearly, someone clearly cared enough to like make this for their dog and like put it up and whatever. And yeah, it's it's pretty weird, but it just it showed up my house, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, oh my mom is giving me shit for um monopolizing the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, to tell her that I need to shut up and let you guys talk. <laughs> no, it's good. I don't have to speak, so I like it. <laughs> all right uh what's the last cd that everyone bought i have no opinion you should talk <laughs> okay 
Trace Martin again. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the hell the last CD I bought was. Well, the damn show wasn't ours, sir. No, I haven't I bought it yet. Was. I bought my to do list. <laughs> Although, why do I even need to buy it? I already have it. You have it. Oh, that's right. You got it for free. You got I it did, but no, I'll probably I buy Tyler, it. I think Tyler might have the last CD I bought. It was a uh, Squid Hammer. Do you have those CDs, Tyler? Oh, shit. I have my mic on mute. Damn. <laughs> do what? Uh, the Squid Hammer CDs. Do you got those? Uh, like one yeah. of them was like a compilation fest of like the yeah Milwaukee Metal Fest. Yeah, yeah I got that yeah. one. Um, I think I put it up. I think I put it up. Oh. This is this is the last CD that I bought. It was uh, I, I've got a copy of it, but I lost it. So oh, that's the becoming. Oh shit. It's really hard to. <clears throat> what else CD I bought right here on my desk here? Well, actually, That's... I know exactly which is the last CD you bought. That's my last CD that I bought just this week. This is the last CD Tom bought. Uh, yeah, I bought too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Got an open one. Oh, and by the way, I... since I'm doing that, I want to shout out this guy. It doesn't look doesn't look much like that now, but that's Dustin Lowry, my brother right there. That's awesome. Coming to um, a twist of fate that he and I are really good friends right now. But met oh. him at Demon Hunter. Oh, look at that. That's the last CD I bought. There's a story oh. behind it. Um, if anyone caught my interview last week with Mr. Agitator from Vias for Villains, I actually scoured the internet and found this because this was the first album he ever put out with his original music project. So I found it just so I could be like, hey, look what I found. And he'd be like, how the fuck did you get that? <laughs> That's fun. Actually, completely seriously, the last CD that I bought is the pre-order from you guys, which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. And then the CD that I got before that, because I'm going to be like a terrible person and plug this, is I'm on an album cover. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. great. So this is, this is Dark. It's a band from Germany. He was the first music video. Love Dark. Oh, is Jessica yeah. holding up the vinyl behind you? He's holding up the vinyl, yep. That's nice. Cool. I, need, yeah. I, need to, I need to go buy that album. Let so, me I need, to, I need to hear it. Watching people around the world unboxing like giant posters of my face was very surreal. Oh, it's like, awesome. Very, very weird. Yeah, but it's awesome. you're, a, you're a fucking rock star. It was very strange. So, oh, oh my God, Jessica's opening it up. Hang on. Of my face. That's yeah. awesome. So, and that honestly, that picture was taken like by a student from a photographer. Occasionally, I get paid for modeling workshops where they pay me to go look like a weirdo, and people go take my picture, and they teach them how to do like lighting and posing and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and that was taken by a student at an outdoor photography workshop. Uh, and I just put it up on my Instagram because I thought it was a decent picture. And then the this guy, Dark, contacted me. We made a music video, whatever. And then he was like, hey, can I use this picture as an album cover? And I was like, first of all, absolutely. Second of all, it's not my picture. So you actually have to ask the photographer. But <laughs> yeah, weird, weird. I love it. All right. That's badass. That's cool. that, sounds like, that sounds like anything cooler than we've ever done. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, but like, <laughs> Literally, when this picture was taken, I was so I was so miserable when this picture was taken. Like I was not. I was like, "When is this workshop going to be over? Students don't know what they're doing." But like, surprise! It's awesome, though. That is awesome. Uh, my God, Jazz. <laughs> she's sitting, she's right here. Like, yeah. she's yes, floor. just get on the fucking stream with us, please. Oh, love God, you guys. Yeah, just talk. Who filmed them? Why? It was my it was my lovely friend Jessica who filmed my first two music videos. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, because when we're like when we film for bands that are far away, I mean, except for the like you know when I get to fly to Florida and do fun stuff. Um, the other two music videos that I've done have been bands from Europe, so I can't obviously go and film with them. Right. So they just give me like the vibe and what they want me to do. And then I walk around and look super booty and super artistic. And Jessica brings out some tech gear and films me, and we film way too much footage. And then we got to put it on. Uh, put on what? I want to. That put it on. Crusty. Got to put it on. <laughs> What's happening? Doug's pulling out effigy shit, man. From the do it. 
Is your video also? Yes. So yeah, yeah. The original mask or whatever. And we have Leonard. Ooh. Mm. This is my gym bag. <laughs> Asriel, yes, that is the effigy mask. I, 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 I discovered I could see the comment, so yeah. Why are we easier? Yeah. I want I I keep telling I keep being told that it's harder, so I want to know why it's easier. Because you already look melancholy. That's fair. That's yeah. true. That's very yeah. fair. Like I know I know that I get told that I particularly am easier to photograph because I've done enough friggin' photo shoots that I know how to to pose and hold my face so that like you know, because I know what I'm doing. You're not trying like, to touch my nipples. I'm just trying to mimic Trey. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. I don't know if he knows that he's. <coughs> yeah, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Uh, Missy, did you happen to see Drag Queen's Cyber Media Gothic outfit? I'd love to. See. I have not seen. I've seen a bunch of Jimbo's outfits, and my friend Diana, who uh, I met on Sophia's, and who is extremely talented, uh, does some design work for Jimbo. But I have not seen that particular outfit. But now that you've said that, I am going to make a point to look it up because I would love to. I would love to see that, and I'm always up for making weird stuff. So. Just wait, I have, so my birthday's in like a month from now and every year I make myself a birthday dress. Just you wait, I'm starting tomorrow. The dress that I'm making this year, just you wait. Nice. Uh, question for the band, how'd you come up with the band name? Uh, I took a shit in a spirit Halloween store. <laughs> Don't be, oh, no. No, not really. <laughs> um, no, I just, I wanted to, to portray the autumn and Halloween and just, from a single word, so I used October, and then I wanted it to sound elegant, so I just threw in noir with it. So it, it technically translates to autumn black, but I didn't want to use autumn black because it sounds probably gayer than what it sounds now. But uh, so that's, that's my friend Nikki that made that comment. So that's my friend Nikki. Joe is her boy name. Um, she's a fabulous drag queen. I make her lots and lots of rhinestone outfits and high heels and all sorts of things. I actually just saw her today. She like literally showed up to pick up some very shiny pants that I made her, uh, before the end shiny of the day. Shiny like the umbrella? Yes. Shiny like the oh, umbrella. Right. Nice. Yeah. So, so Nikki's here watching us. So that's exciting. Well, hello, Nikki. Thank you for joining. Yay. That's the really cool. contrast worked better for us that makes sense that's fair yeah i can yeah. see that and i mean because a lot of goths are like very monochrome color scheme i get that yeah yeah are you making a birthday dress this year i am i'm starting it tomorrow just you wait so yeah i'm going to uh be filming tomorrow the beginning of my birthday dress it's going to be a whole a whole thing let me just tell you here's your hint right here this is your hand. Yeah. So get ready. It's beautiful. I'm so excited. I'll be one of the first to see it. Yeah, you will. Fuck all of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get previews before a lot of other people. That's right. That's true, actually. Jessica gets to see it before anybody. You know what? You walk your ass right back away where you've been. We wanted you to sit down. Now you want to. No. <laughs> This is what happens. I give her wine, she gets mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit and join us and speak. Ooh, Kit Kat might need to commission a nun outfit. Yes, you do. Okay, so I hate modern music, but I'm sure we've all heard that song, that unholy that's all over the internet right now. Yes, no. uh, Sam Smith. Yeah, 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 that no. one. So I just got a commission. Okay, listen to this. This doesn't happen very often. I'm so excited. She said, Missy, you have a $2,000 budget. You can do whatever you want. Make me an unholy priest fetish outfit. Ooh. I know. I know. I'm so, I cannot wait. The, the, what's going to come out of this is going to be insane. Like completely insane. I'm so excited about it. It's ridiculous. 
So I made this this mask uh, based on the closer video from Nine Inch Nails, which I know we've all seen. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is a mask that I made uh, based on that video. And I have so many good ideas. All of the religious thrift stores near me are getting raided for their like crosses and stuff because <laughs> <laughs> just you wait. It's going to be so scandalous that people won't even be able to look at it. I'm so excited. Also, people never let me just go off on my own and do whatever I want. So it's a bad idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> I guess she walks away and now she's like the little voice on the side. <laughs> I know. She's always my personal peanut gallery all the time. Thank you, Jessica. Sit right Christ, here. Why are you Sit doing right it too, Tyler? When they, when they take off the leash, do, they make, uh, do you make them sign a legal waiver? I have actually had to make things where I have had to have people sign legal waivers. <laughs> Seriously. Really? Some of the people that I sew for have very interesting personal lives, shall we say. And there are literally things that I have made that could injure people if used incorrectly. And I'm like, I'm going to need you to sign a waiver. I don't care what you do in your home, in your personal time, whatever. But like, I cannot be held responsible if you hurt yourself with it. So, and the funny thing is, so I, I don't know if my mom's still in here or not, but I have a couple of adult babies that I sew for. And I don't know anything about babies. I've never had any. I don't have any experience with babies. So whenever I have questions about like baby clothes or baby paraphernalia, I have to message my mom and I'm like, hey, questions about like baby clothes. And I always get, is this well, look, pervert? If you, would like some babies, <laughs> if you would like some babies, I have a million of them. You can have some. I'm, I'm good. You can keep. I don't need. It's fine. But yeah, anyway, my mom is really sick of me messaging her about baby stuff for like perverts. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so the wow. other day when I made the adult baby bibs that Tom was referencing earlier, I messaged mm -hmm. my mom. I was like, hey, can you send me pictures and dimensions of a baby bib? And then I put in brackets, don't worry, it's not for a pervert. Look, <laughs> I, want, I want you to invite your mom in on this conversation because I have questions for her. <laughs> 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 my mom is just as filthy as I am. You don't. You definitely don't. I have questions for her. Let's get her going. Tell a funny story about your mom. Oh my god! She's she, <laughs> do you want, do you want to hear? Do you this want to girl. Let's put a gun. I will be at Dark Force. That's a threat. Okay. Okay. So here's a here's a funny story yep. for everyone. We have three minutes. He said he said go to two hours. Three minutes to two hours yep. right now. Okay. So I'm at the mall with my mom and my aunt. Okay. <laughs> and we're like. We were shopping, whatever. We're like, we have to go pee. So we go to the bathroom. I go pee, come out, wash my hands. I'm waiting. My mom goes pee, come out, wash her hands. We're waiting. We're waiting for my aunt. And all of a sudden, my aunt cuts like the hugest fart that like echoes through the entire bathroom. Yes. And my mom says, oh my God, you stinking bitch. I think you nearly blew the bottom out of the toilet with that one. We're going to go wait in the <laughs> So my mom and I walk out to the hallway in the mall only to find that my aunt is standing in the hallway. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, so hold on. Let's get your mom and your aunt in on this conversation right now. My, right aunt, now. my aunt has passed away, so she probably will not be responding to this. She's here in spirit. Get your mom. Here in spirit. I'm sure of it. There we go. But, yeah. So my Either mom that or we need to see the police report. Yes. Right horrible things to a random woman in a mall bathroom and then we ran away very quickly <laughs> what the hell did you guys eat exactly and then we were like oh no and we ran away really fast because yeah it was a whole thing these damn kids shooting off cherry bombs again kids, yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my god mm -hmm. so instead of a fart do Can canadians call it a poot yes yes that's exactly what we call it I do you speak Canadian? No. Do I speak Canadian? Yes. I, so I can say maple syrup. When I was in Florida, I showed them I showed them the, the Canadian money and they were all like, Wow, your money is made of plastic and it's yeah. multicolored. This is crazy. And that I was like, Your money is made of paper. That was very wild. Well. But you know what? They're they're on to something with yeah. that. They should uh yeah, we should do the same thing. Yeah, you we should. like paper. You really should. Because it's easier to like see what you're getting out of your wallet. You just look for the color and grab, right? You don't have to like look at anything. Yeah, we sense. have to. We have to look at the numbers. We don't. We don't we use. We down. don't use dollars anyway. We don't use paper money. We just use our card. Well, we damn sure don't use coins anymore. 
Oh, so, you'd be yeah. surprised. We don't use cash anymore. Well, like our our one dollar and our two dollar are coins, right? So all the drag queens that I'm friends with said that when because one dollars and two dollars used to be bills, and then they switched them to coins. So when you go up to tip a drag queen, they started like handing them like change, like handing them coins, and they were like, "Don't do that. We're trying to put like." you know money in our bras and it's not a good oh, time man. you gotta make it hail yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just throw it out of and just beat the performer <laughs> you have to tip at least a five at least well i'll give them five of those one dollar coins yeah exactly <laughs> okay so when we go out to pirate festivals we change all of our money into the one dollar gold coins so we just pay with like giant amounts of one dollar coins <laughs> that's great yes it's very delightful well, we made it the two hour mark. You have to do it. We did. Yeah, Eric, Eric. Yeah, Eric you really lost you really lost track of this one, brother. I did, but that's okay. It's been fun. Like one hour and forty five minutes of that was me. That's okay. <laughs> the guy seemed content with that, so I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm the other fifteen it. minutes was Trey stroking his pussy. Yes. <laughs> if more talking time next time, don't invite me. <laughs> Why? No, that's what makes it interesting. We have to have you here. Absolutely. Yeah, Jessica showed up for two minutes. Yeah, right she did away. at the very end yeah. when she could have been here the entire time. Yep. Generally, she just runs around and helps me le seem less chaotic. It's mm -hmm. a hard job. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yes. I, I think more it's more chaotic. Yeah. More is is more than none. More is yes. You rock. Yay! Thank you, Nikki. Joe is correct. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, make sure you pick up a copy of their new album. I'm going to run a quick little thingy that I threw together. Quick little snippet of what I said was my favorite song off the album. And you're the one who made it. So you get to put whatever crazy. you want. What? What's crazy? I oh, it's just that's oh. crazy. That's your that that's your favorite song. I, I, love it. I got I got something for you, Eric. So oh. I'm gonna Go I'm gonna pull up weenie weenie in your pants. Yeah, Eric, don't ask what it is. Just just <laughs> kill the stream. Kill the stream. Kill it. Put it down. <laughs> I put I put the back end of uh, flash paper matches to the Cholo challenge. I think I think oh that actually is a good one. I I like that one. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on, guys. I knew this would get crazy. At least I'm not like dead like last time. That that was even more off the rails. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Well, you it had to fun. think about who you're talking to. Oh, for Shit's sure. gonna go sideways quick. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Was that one arm bump? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. Wow. All right. You know. All right. Oh yeah. Wait. 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 Um. Before we hop off, I'm just going to. Next week, I have a metal band called Storms Within. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Cool. Oh, wow. Dude, uh, all right, Eric, let me yeah. tell you something in the future. If there's any fucking band with the name Storm in it, avoid it at all costs. <laughs> you know how many bands I've heard? Storm Within, After the Storm. Yeah. Storm's Within, no, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no band. Just, you just made Eric okay. feel, ter feel terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're real in your, your, your ears now. He's just talking shit because I was previously in a band that was called After the Storm, or Storm which Within. was originally called Storm Within until they got a uh, <laughs> until they got a uh, copyright claim from some friggin. You get the fuck out of here, Tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Good.